I wanted to show you something I've been working on. Uh, probably three or four years ago, I bought a Jeep Wrangler and I bought a GPS to go in that. And uh, when I sold it, the GPS went and I wanted to do something again, but, and I had some old parts. I didn't want to buy the, the same thing again, but I had some old parts laying around. I figured I could put something together, get it in the Jeep, and while it's not connected to cellular, it easily could be. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at. That's what brought this on. So um, what originally started is I had this GPS around. I've got probably four or five Raspberry Pis sitting around that I wasn't doing anything with. So this was a Pi 2. Um, it, it was doing some Z-Wave stuff at the house, but uh, it the SD card corrupted and I just never fixed it. So it's been repurposed for this. Well, let me show you what I've got here. So I've got this battery. It can run all this stuff for probably four or five days. In between here and the battery in the Jeep, um, I'm gonna have a battery isolator so this can charge and it won't kill the battery in the Jeep. Um, this box has got 12 volts coming into it from the battery. It runs out through here to this, I don't know, voltage reducer, I guess. Um, steps down 12 or 24 volts, down to five volts at 10 amps. So that's more than enough for what I need. And this, this box here is five volts. Coming out of here is power going to USB hub. And then uh, the USB hub right now, there's the powers, everything you see here. There's a TP-Link MR3020. Uh, right now it's just running a uh, pirate box. Uh, nothing too fancy there, but it was kind of a fun addition once this whole thing started. Then, uh, like I said, I've got the Raspberry Pi down here. It's got it's a Raspberry Pi 2, but I've got it booting off of well, the boot partitions on the SD card and everything else is on um, the USB stick here. So uh, it's like the Pi 3 in every sense, except it requires the SD card for just that initial boot, but everything's really done. All the business is done here. Uh, I've got a Wi-Fi dongle. Um, and then this is the USB hub coming in. The GPS goes straight to the USB hub and then around to, um, and then I can collect its data on the Raspberry Pi. The cell phone was kind of an afterthought. Still not really sure how I'm going to use it, but um, the, I can turn it into a hotspot and use the Xfinity, the Comcast Xfinity Wi Fi app to connect to any of their hotspots. And since they've been putting them in people's houses, they seem to be really prevalent and easily available. So I think as a whole package, um, this going into the Jeep is probably a good setup. Um, I'd like to keep it, everything, you know, pretty hidden behind the scenes, um, especially if it ever does get stolen. Uh, maybe somebody will drive past some of those hot spots and I can collect data from here. I can also just throw a SIM card in here and then... Uh, use it also. So as it stands right now, the data goes out the cell phone just fine and out the uh, Wi-Fi just fine, but uh, the Wi-Fi in the Pi is only set up to connect to my local network here at the house. So I think I'll show you where I think I'm going to mount this. Well, here's the Jeep first of all. But I think when you come in the back here, open the gate, or the tailgate. I think everything, except the battery, obviously the battery's gonna go up front, but I think the, the pies will fit perfect under this ledge here. It's kinda hard to see, but there's just enough space for for the pie and for the uh, TP-Link hotspot. Uh, the cell phone will probably do something similar, maybe even behind the carpet. We'll have to try it out, but it's a start. So, anyway. Thanks for checking this out. I'll uh, link to all the parts that I acquired and used so that they're a little easier to find. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you.